The three functions that we're going to go over are the if, and, and or functions. First of all, the if. The if will perform a logical test, where if it's true, you can have it return one value, or if it's false, another. For example, I want to figure out the commission rate for all the employees or any employees who brings in a total sales of more than $20 million. If they do that, then I want to multiply that, their total sales, by, let's say, 5%. And those who don't, give them a big fat zero. So there's the true 5% false zero. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and insert my function here by hitting the equals key on the keyboard and typing in if, and there it is. The description says it'll check whether a condition is met, and if it's true, return one value if it's false, another. So while it's highlighted here, go ahead and hit the tab key to pop the function open so we can answer one, two, three arguments there. The first one in bold is the test. Well, the test is taking this cell, go ahead and select it, and saying that if it's greater than, go ahead and type in the greater than symbol, and then we can type in 20 million. But if I want it specifically equal to 20 million dollars or more, then it's greater than or equal to. And make sure that when you use the equal symbol in conjunction with the uh, greater than or less than symbols that you always put it to the right. Don't put it to the left, otherwise your function is not going to work and Excel is going to give you the raspberries. So go ahead and type in then 20 million. And then to go to the next argument, hit the comma, that's in bold, and then it says OK. If this test right here is true, then what do you want to do? Well, I want to take the same cell, go ahead and select it, multiply it by 0.05 or 5%, and let's go to the last one, so that's what's going to happen if it's true. Hit comma. If it's false, then let's just type in zero. Go ahead and hit enter, and there you go. Now let's see what it looks like for all the other employees by copying this function down to the other cells below. And I can do that by hovering over the lower right-hand corner, and when you see the black cross, go ahead and click and drag it, but because I'm copying in the same column here, the shortcut for that shortcut is to just double click really fast on the black cross and boom, there you go. So let's see if it makes sense. Is this total sales $20 million or more? No. So you got a big fat zero and so did Homer Simpson. Now that's fine if I just have one test to perform, but what if I have two or more tests? It's got to meet multiple tests before I can go ahead and say if it's true, do this, if it's false, do that. Well, that's where the AND function comes in, because by itself the IF function can only perform one test. But what if we do IF THIS, AND THIS, AND THIS? You can keep adding a lot of ANDs or additional tests. For example, I want to go ahead and give a promotion to only those employees whose first test has, let's say, a total of five or more years of service and has made more than $20 million in sales. So there's the two tests. Let's go ahead and start with the IF function equals if, hit the tab key, and there's the uh, in bold, the first argument, logical test. Well, I want multiple tests, so I have to insert the and function by typing in an, it's highlighted down below. Go ahead and hit the tab key, it pops it open, and it says, okay, what's your first logical test? Your second, your third, and you can go nuts on this, but let's go ahead and only do two. The first logical test is taking this cell, and let's say it's got to be greater than five, comma, what's the second test? Well, this cell has got to be greater than or equal to, and then we type in 20 million. Then when we're finished, go ahead and close the parentheses so we close off that uh, nested function, you know, the function within a function as we discussed in the previous training video. And then to go to the next part of the function, the if function, which is what if it's true, go ahead and type in comma. It makes the true argument bold. So if it's true, let's go ahead and say that we want to, in quotes, promote, close quotes. And then to go to the false value, comma, open quotes, close quotes. And then when we're finished, I'm going to go ahead and close the parentheses here. So we have if, and then we've got two tests using the and function. And then you have if it's true, go ahead and promote. If not, then, well, you're toast. So we got promotion. Let's see who gets fired. And then hover over the lower right hand corner, double click on the black cross really fast, and there we go. Now, what if I want to be able to change this and say, well, they don't have to meet both criteria. Let's just say they have to meet one or the other. There's where the or function comes in. To do that, it's the same thing as the and. In other words, when I nest the and inside the if function, let me go ahead and double click to open this back up. See, there's the and nested inside the if. I can just come over here, since it's already there and select it, and just go ahead and start typing O, R, there's the OR, hit the tab key, so I just replaced it and said, okay, 
With the OR function, you can have as many logical tests as you would like. This test, if it meets that test, which is D6, has got to be greater than 5, or it can also be E6, which has got to be greater than 20 million. So if it meets either one of those, then they're going to go ahead and get promoted. Okay. So when I just replace the AND with the OR, hit the ENTER key on the keyboard, and I did it just for this cell right here, so I need to copy that function with the updated new nested OR function by coming down here, clicking and dragging, or of course you can double click really fast, and hey, only one person got fired, and it was this one who didn't have more than five years of service and also a total of sales of more than $20 million. So with the other two, I wasn't as stringent. I just said, look, you got to have either more years of service or more sales, and Bob Appleman didn't have either one. So in short, the if function will perform a test and give you the values of true or false. The and or or functions will allow you to perform as many tests as you want. Just that when you use the and, it's got to meet all the tests. The or, it can meet any one of those tests to make it true. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.